us. We're going to Wembley. We're going to Wembley. We're going to Wembley. Wembley. We're coming for you. <laughs> How many times, though, mate? We're getting there in both. Oh, uh, yeah. Anything is possible. I keep telling you guys. Now, I have to, Adam, please. Anthony haters, hold this. I told you when he cuts in, I told you in the fun forum and people laughed at me. I told you he's going to cut in, he's going to slide past through. You're going to see it. And they said, oh, this guy doesn't know ball. Well, there you go, Anthony, man. I'm happy he even got the man of the match. You know, he can take loads from that. I I know that Casemiro maybe should have deserved it and people will say that, but he, he needs confidence. We need to get behind him. He was one of our best players in the first half and he created that goal, man. This Brazilian connection, I'm loving it. That was it, mate. It was a Brazilian bit of... Oh, it was a really Brazilian magic for 10 minutes there. What it passed yeah. to Fred. Yeah. It was involved, obviously, Antony, but Casemiro, mate. Whoa, yeah. where did they come from? I have... I, honestly, I don't know. That darting run, firstly, that he made. For, this, this thing about party and him, that was disrespectful. And Casemiro took that personally, and you saw that today. I think he's had like, he's had like nine um, GA uh, in, in all comps, and parties had like two. Casemiro... I thank my lucky stars that he came to this club. This this is for all the bad times that we've had. This is one good thing that we brought into this club, the best CDM in the world. I'm really happy. On top of that, the second goal, I don't think he expected it, did he, Adam? He, he just looked around like, I can't believe he actually went in, but I'll take it. Right. I'll take it. Yep, you don't win a lottery unless you buy a ticket, mate. That's it. <clears throat> he did it a couple of times there, and that pretty much gave Ten Hag the chance to rest the players. We all thought probably we're going to be rested at the start of the game, but... Yep. He's done it back to front. Are you happy with the way that Ten Hag's approached the cup? When we're thinking we need to rest players, obviously we got a little bit scared with Ericsson going off there, but yep. are you happy with this approach? you feel like this is a breath of fresh air or do you feel like he's dicing with death? Um, I can I can see the bit where people are like he's, he's taking a lot of risk, but let's be honest. We need silverware, and what are, and and some of these players need to win something in a Man United shirt. And what other way than to do it in an FA Cup or a Carabao Cup? Carabao Cup, you know, we, yeah, we're already into Wembley. You can say, let's let's be honest, we're not gonna uh, Nottingham Forest aren't not, are not gonna do much. But in terms of FA Cup, that is a very prestigious cup. With FA Cup also comes Community Shield. Let's not forget that's another piece of silverware that he could add. And on his first season, he said it in all pretty much most press conferences we are competing for all trophies so if you're a man united fan get used to this mentality this is what we want to install in these players you're fighting for every trophy which other player wouldn't want to play every three days if you're you know upper echelon top level player that's what you would want to play every competition to win everything dalo said it as well remember when you went and did the interview this is what I want. I want my team to compete in every every competition. I'm happy, though, that he made subs earlier. That's one thing I'll say. I'm happy. I know the rotation thing is a, is a concern of people, but I'm happy he still made subs where he took Bruno off. Ericsson, I was glad Ericsson came off uh, for Fred. I'm glad to see a bit of Elanga, a bit of Palestri, everybody is asking for. Ganacho as well. Casemiro got a bit of rest. I was a bit concerned when he when Andy Carroll uh, made a challenge on him and obviously Andy got the red card. I was like, oh, I hope he's not injured. But I'm really, uh, I'm really glad. Even Rashford gets a bit of rest now. That's it, mate. It's important. Uh, <clears throat> two players that were arrested tonight, Verona Martinez. Yeah. For reasons that we've seen there in that goal, we conceded. Can yeah. you see Ten Hag just bringing them back for the Forest game to make sure it doesn't get dice there? Be yeah. solid because set pieces, that's unforgivable against them men there. And yeah. Maguire and Lindelof, it did seem to be a little bit slower in there. Do you think he will just show up the back line, if anything? Can I be honest? It's a, it's, a, it's a good question that you ask because Brennan Johnson and Gibbs White, let's be honest, they are very fast players. They're yeah. very quick. They're very good on the ball. Brennan Johnson dropped the shoulder on Martinez last game as well. Uh, and you saw today as well, uh, one of the players, he dropped Maguire in the box. If he was a better quality player, Nan, you know, he could have finished that uh, and that could have been a goal for them. So I could see him bringing one uh, player between Martinez and Baran, not both. I don't see him bringing both. That'd be a bit too much. That'd be a bit, you know, too much lock of the shop. Don't need that. You can bring in Lindelof and Martinez or Maguire and Martinez. I'd be happy with that, but not both together. I need to protect Baran as well, let's be honest. That's it. Anthony was announced as man of the match. Are you, I know you're a big Anthony fan, yeah, are you yeah. giving in that man of the match as well? Was that warranted for you or did you see anyone else like a Casemiro probably warrant that more? Uh, 
I, I can I can understand why people would have the sentiment that they want to give it to Casemiro. He's played very well today. On top of that, you got two goals, but that's two goals and you get the man of the match. I don't think that's almost that's really fair. Anthony will take a lot of confidence from this. In the first half, everybody knows he did a lot defensively. He was our main source when it came to attacking from the left hand side, from the right hand side, sorry as well. I think he kind of just edged it in terms of deserving the, the man of the match and and he'll take like i said he'll take loads from that as well one thing though he needs to work in the training pitch on his corner kicks because that is not acceptable no that 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 is fine worthy to, to take a corner kick like that he's taken a few shots today and you could see he was upset with himself for not getting it on target but then again he's gone from strength to strength game in game out last game as well because of him Falk got a goal today as well uh, uh he, he could nearly um get another goal as well but he, he should have tossed the ball down in the box i remember he had the ball he could have brought it down and then taken a shot but he'll get there he'll take he's still young 22 years old i must say though uh just off topic i want to give a big shout out to Val Pecos. i've been very critical of him this guy was pressing like crazy he nearly had the goalkeeper of guard a few times he did right he did the, the dropping in collecting the ball well like ricky says all the time he challenged players as well at times in his own half just outside our box taking the ball calming everything down i really enjoyed his game today you could tell he wanted a debut old trafford goal and it's unfortunate he didn't get one but uh, I'm, I'm actually he started to grow on me a little bit i'll be honest because let's be honest, ronaldo was not pressing like this and we were very upset with him so i'm, I'm happy with that as we move on cheers for coming on mate thank you